This is to me where the real magic occurs. We can click on this material and say we want this to be a fabric or we want it to be metals. I'm very partial to the plasters. Look at this thick plaster here. Look at how the texture, look at that texture. Is that not great? Another one that I like a great deal is, um, is uh, where'd it go? Grunge, grunge is good, grunge stains. I'm looking for a concrete as well. There it is, concrete. I like this one, brown concrete, aged concrete. Look at that. that. I just, I really like the fact that we've got texture in the lighting. We've got depth to the characters. And we've got texture that's been applied to the surface of the letter. So this is not just dull, boring text. This is actually really kind of cool. So let's go back to our wood. And we'll do um, old wood here. There we go. Aged wood. But if I change the material from single to multiple, now I can change the material that's on the front the front edge, the bevel, the side, the back edge, or the back. Let's click here on the, the bevel, and let's change it to paint. Let's change it to a latex paint. And look at how that calls attention to the edge. Now we'll go back up where we were messing with the edge before, and let's just decrease the size of the front edge. Look at that. See how we're able to really add some definition to our characters? And if I wanted to, I could change the, the color that's on the side, the texture that's on the side. But I want to get into why we do motion, because so far we've had all this controlled inside Final Cut. It's the last part that we can control in motion that we can't do in Final Cut. Inspector, Properties. Twirl down rotation. I can rotate this on the x-axis. I can rotate this on the Z axis, and those are all okay, but the one that I love is the Y axis. Now we could apply text animations. If we go down to behavior, we've got all these standard text animations where the text comes tumbling in. We can apply all that animation in and of itself. But for me, sometimes subtle is the best. And what I want to do is I just want to have my 3D text rotate. I want it to start full screen like this, get about, oh, a second and a half in. Then I want to have it start to rotate. Click the keyframe button right here. I want it to start there. Then I'm going to have it go a couple seconds in and rotate. Let's just click this and, whoa, 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 gently, gently, gently. I want to have it rotate about 45 degrees to there. Or maybe I want to have it rotate negative 45 degrees. Oh, that's a little bit better. Now we can still change our colors. We can still change the brightness. I can change all of that stuff. But look at what's happening now. As I hit the space and it starts rotating. All right, now let's go back to here. See this chevron? This is how we move to an earlier keyframe. I'm going to set a, a position keyframe as well. So let's just click here. And I'm going to set a scale keyframe. Where the keyframe diamond is gold, a keyframe exists. Where the diamond is gray, a keyframe does not exist. And while that's there, let's just have it scale up. And let's have it move in position over. And now when I play it, watch this. <laughs> Is that not neat? This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, taking a look at new features inside Motion 5.2. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 158. By the way, membership is a great way when you need to stretch your training dollars. A membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any Power Up webinar for free. 
Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.